Hey YouTube, Vice Resort 27 here, coming at you with a Project Diva deck profile, uh, red-green. Um, there are a few cards missing, but I'll just tell you guys that when I get there. And um, yeah, some deck profile, short and sweet. Uh, okay, so three of this Miku, it's the beater of the deck by itself in the front stage, it gains a thousand and level one, so it's good for killing suiciders, and um, yeah. Pretty much what it's for. When did the Avril Levine cards come out? Uh, three, Suicider. This Suicider is really cool because it uh, gives plus 500 to two other characters. So it's just legitly better than the Bakke one for no reason. But um, yeah, Suicider for the deck. Uh, three of this pseudo encore it gives 500 on your opponent's turn to the characters in front of it, and then you can send this to waiting room to save a character. So pseudo encore, it's pretty cool. Oh god, three of this card it gains 1500 for each other played after it. So it can be some sort of beater at level zero, and maybe even at level one. I don't know. This card's okay. It's, it's honestly just meh. You know. It's green, color fixing. Uh, <laughs> two of this uh, pay one discard salvage. These cards are good because they can pay out climaxes and uh, get cards you need. And then two brainstorm uh, for brainstorming and drawing cards and plus maintaining advantage. So brainstorms are good. Uh, that's the level zero onto level one. Four of this Luca. Um, she is a 117k with hand on core, and uh, her downside is on play. She checks the top card, and if it's a um, climax, it goes to rest. Uh, not that bad of a downside, because you can just like put it in the back row if you have to. Uh, four of this Luca at strong on offense. Uh, if you have two more characters when she's played, she becomes 7k, so she's good for like beating over things for a turn and then dying. She's a one for one, so. Usually she's a one for one unless you get like backed up. Well, then she's still one for one, but yeah, she's good. And then one 1500 backup. The only backup that we play because 1500. It's good. Okay, level twos. Put this one on top. Uh, three of this Luca. She has a climax combo with the gates to burn one by paying one, so she can ping damage. So at level three, she's still useful for like ending games and. She's an okay beater at level 2. She's only 8k, but you know, you're trying to use her with a climax combo, so I guess that's helpful. Uh, then 3 of this Luca. She gains 500 for each other character on play, and it's a permanent gain, I do believe. So, she's a. I like this beater. I think she's a really good level 2 um, compared to a lot of other things in English, so this card is really good. Uh, 2 of this Miku. It gains a uh, thousand for each other attacker, so it's just another beater that's usually a one for one because it's weak on defense. And then two of this Miku. Um, the deck doesn't play a level assist, so we play this. It's a thousand in front, and um, you can tap to get 500 somewhere. So if you have two of this, it's pretty good. On uh, to level three. Three of this uh, Miku that climaxes with the. Uh, Gold bars. Uh, if it reverses a character in the climax combo, then you send it to clock. So clock shooters are good game enders. So this card is good. Uh, and on play, draw two discard one. So pluses. And then two healers. That's all we own. And two of this Luca, which we'll be proxying as healers for this profile. Um, if you have four healers, definitely play four healers. Um, healing is good. So four of this Miku. I can't afford healers because. And then climaxes, four gates, uh, has the climax combo, and it's gates, and four gold bars for the climax combo. And uh, yeah, that's the deck profile. Hope you enjoyed. This was Flash Reflection 7 by YouTube.